Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks, personal finance, and business finance, and passive income with dividend stocks. If you're new, please click the subscribe button to get my frequent updates. Uh, please like and share the video, and I want to thank all my new subscribers in the last month. Uh, looks like we added a little over 50 new subscribers, so thank you for continuing to watch the channel. Well, today's video is going to be, a, be about Tesla and some of my top stocks. Uh, this week was Tesla's Investor's Day. Uh, so here it is. We're on Tesla. Uh, the IR uh, investors relations and you can see that um, we had Tesla uh, announcement date for 2023 uh, we plan to host Tesla's 2023 investors day on March 1st 2023 uh, the event uh, was live streamed of the Gigafactory Texas uh, and our investors will be able to see most advanced production line as well as to discuss long-term expansion plans and generation three platform and capital allocation and other subjects about leadership. Okay. So that's what happened. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot about the uh, new models or cars coming, uh, but there was a lot of discussion about the leadership, about who could take over if Elon Musk leaves the company. Also this week, it was announced that uh, Tesla will be building a factory in uh, Mexico, which means that over $10 billion investment uh, that the uh, governor of Mexico, uh, Governor Samuel Garcia, speaks in an interview uh, and talks about what the plant will require an investment in several phases. OK, so it says Tesla's Mexican plant will produce uh, probably probably require ten billion dollars in investment in several phases. A game changer uh, for the state uh, as a global company rushed to re relocate to the country's north. OK, Tesla picked Mexico's industrial uh, cluster hub to close to the Texas border because of the slowest cost and availability of workforce and beating rivals such as Germany, Netherlands, and Colombia, Indonesia, et cetera. Okay, so that is the news again, a $10 billion investment from Tesla into New Mexico. And if we look at the stock for the year, it's up year to date, a little over 82%, uh, but, of recent, the stock has come down over the last five days, a little over 2%. Okay, so stock's been down, uh, you know, with the uh, lackluster investor day. So we had a lackluster investor day. Uh, the Wall Street analysts wanted to hear about new products or services coming out. Okay, uh, the reason why Elon Musk does not push the new models coming because he does not want to hurt uh, the current models that are being produced, like the new uh, Model Y or any of the other uh, Model 3 vehicles, okay? Because uh, you got to kind of release them in patterns, okay? Uh, so it's not to, you know, let uh, one particular product cannibalize the other product line, okay? So again, this stock has been up and down over the last week with the lackluster investor day. Uh, but Elon did talk about... Uh, Next phases, uh, different uh, forms of leadership. If we look down here, uh, test stock is more popular than ever with uh, individual investors. So that's just uh, retail investors. Um, a pin Ford is leaving Tesla in the dust. Okay, this is by New York Times. Uh, okay, so this is a writer there. It says Ford is leaving Tesla in the dust. Uh, and a, another article from Barron says Tesla did drop the event bombshell. It's trying to disrupt more than the EV space. Okay. Um, so again, uh, Tesla stock not performing that well over the last week, down a little over 
more than 2% over the last five days. Again, we did have investor day on March 1st, last Wednesday. Now, a quick look at my portfolio. Uh, as you can see, uh, one of my uh, best gaining stocks, Tesla, uh, over time, I've gained a little over $6,000. And I do hold 40, 48 shares in this portfolio. Now, a very second close to that, I do hold four shares. Um, actually, for a negative right now of $112 negative. Uh, but with Ford, uh, I own a little over 173 shares. Okay, so Ford, I have a decent position in Ford, uh, as well as ChargePoint. ChargePoint will be the charging station, and Ford being the second runner-up to Tesla as far as EV producing uh, vehicles. Okay, so Ford uh, has the mock and the F-150 Lightning, and Tesla, of course, has three vehicles out there, the uh, Model S, the Model 3, and the Model X, okay, as of right now. Now, we do know in the pipeline, Tesla does have the uh, truck, the semi, uh, so this will be coming out soon. Uh, we do have Frito-Lay, who has a couple of these bad boys on the road already, uh, but again, uh, Tesla to release uh, more of these semis later in the year. Uh, so they is so far the number one EV uh, manufacturer, okay? There is others that make uh, semi-electric. There's a Toyota Prius out there. Uh, I believe Hyundai makes it Ion. Uh, but again, Tesla is the number one EV producing uh, manufacturer right now, okay? Uh, the only uh, impact of all ca uh, car automobiles bought about 1% of the current uh, penetration. So out of all the cars on the road, there's about 1% to 2% of electric vehicles on the road, and many of them are Teslas, okay? Whether it's a Model X or Model S or Model 3, okay? So again, Tesla stock. A big part of my portfolio trading around $197 today. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Also this week, we will have the job numbers come out. So if the job number goes up, we might be in trouble a little bit. Um, that's coming out this week. Uh, also, maybe more uh, information about uh, inflation. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the uh, futures on CNBC. Okay, here we are on CNBC here. Are the futures, the Dow futures, the S&P futures, the NASDAQ futures, all in the green, okay? So right now, everything looks like it's going to be in a positive. Uh, we'll see in the morning when things open about 6 a.m. Eastern. Uh, really quickly, stock futures are a little bit changed as investors look ahead to pile comments on jobs data this week, okay? So, Jerome Powell may come out and make comments that the job numbers grows too high this week, uh, and that could affect the market. That will impact the market. Again, uh, the Fed is increasing short-term rates, and they will make another decision later on the week. Uh, at least Powell will make more comments, and other people from the Federal Reserve will make comments on this job state, okay? Uh, if they feel that the economy is growing too fast still, they're going to try to increase the uh, current interest rates, okay? Right now, we're looking at a 0.25, could be a 0 0.50 uh, basis point. So we do not know, okay? Uh, this week, Powell and the Federal Reserve uh, will make big news this week if the job numbers grow to be uh, larger than expected, okay? So that is the news there. Uh, keep your eye on that information this week. And again, um, Tesla uh, opening a new factory, uh, possibly in Mexico, really soon. Again, it probably will look very similar to the one in Giga Berlin in Germany or similar to the one in Austin. OK, so these are very beautiful uh, manufacturing, modernized, uh, very sophisticated plants with a lot of automation. OK, so another $10 billion dollar of investment from Tesla coming up. And again, if you want more information, uh, just check out some of these uh, uh, articles here below. 
about what, what Tesla's doing. And always, of course, you can check out uh, press releases on ir.tesla forward slash press. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. Uh, also, if you'd like to get started in investing, please use my Robinhood link below and have a great week.